Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will learn about the patents in the research methodology. So, patent means it is the right of ownership granted to the inventor, inventor or creator of a product or idea by a governmental authority. So, patents protect new ideas and useful inventions, process and designs. To qualify for a patent, an invention must be new, useful and non-obvious. Once a patent is granted, the inventor has the exclusive right to make, use and sell the invention for a period of 20 years. So patents are mainly given to protect the new and useful inventions, process and designs. So to qualify for a patent, it must be new and innovative. And each patent is given a time limit after which the patent holder gives up exclusive rights to their invention. So they have to check the uh, readable time of the patent and they have to uh, renew, renew their uh, patent lifetime by paying some amount to the government agencies. Patents are essential because they provide protection, exclusivity, licensing, reputation and marketing. So protection, uh, when the company patents a product or idea it gets the legal ownership of that particular product or idea within that country, not out of that country. So they get the authority of that product or, uh, or the invention only with the, within that particular country. So when the company patents a product or idea, it gets the legal ownership within that country and other countries. So it is unauthorized to access the uh, that invention or idea by others. Exclusivity. A patent gives the owner exclusive right to use or profit from their invention by whatever means they wish for the duration of the patent. So for a startup company, so it will be very useful to generate the income with the invention before competitors enter their marketplace. So next one is the licensing. To get a steady income from a patented, inven patented invention, it is best to license that invention to other business so that they will get the uh, income for uh, expanding their company within the limited time. And the next one is reputation. To create a positive reputation for the company as being innovative and creative which may help attract and retain quality employees. And the last one is the marketing. When a company patents an invention, the company becomes the only business in that market space offering that product. The company can use this as part of its advertising campaigns and marketing materials. There are four types of patents. That is utility patents, design patents, plan patents and reissue patents. Utility patents are the most common type of patent and are granted for new and useful inventions or process. This type of patent can be granted for a wide range of inventions including machines, manufacturers, compositions of matters or methods or process. So it is the normally used type of a patent and granted for the useful inventions and process like machines, for the chemical formulas, for designing a car or for different methods of process. For example, a new type of medical device, a new software algorithm or a new process for manufacturing a product. So for these type of things, we can issue the utility patents. So next one is the design patents. Design patents are granted for new, original and ornamental designs for articles of manufacture. This type of patent can be granted for the appearance of a product such as shape or configuration of a chair or the design of a new type of packaging. So this type of patents are issued for, for the designs of the articles. So this, this, this design may be for a particular, for the shape of a chair or for ornamental designs or for packaging designs. Uh, 
these patents are issued for example the shape of a new smartphone the design of a new type of furniture or the ornamental design of a new type of a packaging so for for a particular design we are issuing the design patents so next one is the planned patents planned patents are granted for new and distinct varieties of asexually reproduced plants this type of patent can be granted for new varieties of flowers fruits and vegetables and other plants so this type of patents are issued for uh, getting a hybrid plant for a new and distinct variety of hybrid plant so this type of, of patents are issued for uh, flowers fruits vegetables trees and other plants for example a new variety of rose a new type of apple tree or a new type of tomato plant so if you are getting this new type of plants by asexually reproducing the plants next the last one is reissue patents reissue patents are granted to correct errors in the original patent this type of patent can be granted to correct errors in the specification drawings or claims of the original patent suppose if there is any uh, problem in the given patent or if they ask to modify the work so they will solve all the researcher will solve the errors and he get the reissue of the patent so this type of patents are granted to correct the errors in the specification drawings or claims of the original patent that means if there is anything wrong or errors in the original patent so the researcher has to change that and he he must get the uh, reissue of the patent a reissue patent for a utility patent could be granted to correct an error in the original specification drawings or claims of the patent suppose a machine is uh, a machine which is which got the utility patent is not working properly then it must be um, so it must be repaired such that it will again get the patent so that patent is called as a reissue patent so this is all about the different types of patents and what are what is meant by patent now let us see about the difference between the patent and copyrights so patent and copyright has a similar meaning right? somewhat so it will be a little bit confusing so the patent means it, it is given to the so both are a part of the ipr intellectual property rights so the patent is given to new and useful inventions process and designs whereas the copyright is given to the original works of authorship such as books articles music movies and software and the patent duration will be 20 years from the date of filing whereas the copyright duration is life of the author plus 70 years and the requirements of patent is invention must be new useful and non obvious whereas the copyright so the here it is given to only to the original version uh, original work like creating a music album and creating a soft new software okay so work must be original and fixed in a tangible medium so the exclusive rights for the patent is to make use and sell the innovation invention and the exclusive rights for copyright is to reproduce distribute display perform and create derivative works of the copyrighted work so this is all about the patents thanks for watching my video